This week in Tampa, the Republican Party was like the Grapes of Wrath at an Occupy protest and the inscription at the Statue of Liberty all mixed up into one. After this week, the Republican Party should no longer be called the GOP, the Grand Old Party. It should instead be called the PHM, the Party of the Huddled Masses. My dad got his first job when he was six years old. My dad never finished high school. Dad was a truck driver. Dad grew up in poverty. My dad lost his job. Mom also came from nothing. Working poor parents in a meatpacking town. As a widow with seven children. Didn't have much. Basement apartment. In a tiny two-bedroom house. Pasta and tuna fish. A single mother. Working class. Working class. Came from nothing. She got on a bus. Took three different buses. Every weekday for years. Every day to get to work. Cleaning sheep pens. A poor farm boy. Working on the railroad. A Welsh coal miner. Mopping floors, waiting tables, tending bar. They both lived hard lives. Paycheck to paycheck. Ten dollars in their pockets. Making 50 cents an hour. He was a teenager with nothing. Not a penny. You know, give him a break. If you were nominating Thurston Howell for president, you'd make your convention sound like that too, right? Distract, distract, distract. But the Republicans did not just play the opposite game on the issue of class and the subject of Mitt Romney's money. They also did it on the subject of your money as well. And your fate, particularly if you are an old person or somebody who plans to be an old person someday. That story is next with Paul Krugman. Stay with us.